And we're live! Oh, wow, babe, you look uh, you look pretty. I look pretty? Yeah, your face is very round tonight. <laughs> round? Yeah, it's very round. What does that mean? I don't know. You look great. It's a round face. You just you said great. I look great, and then you insulted me. No, no, it wasn't insult. <laughs> Everyone's uh, face is round. Yeah, I don't know. Your face just looks really round tonight. I'm gonna sit back here. <laughs> Bring that round face up here. No. You're gonna make us blurry. I want a round face. Yeah, come up with us. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Hey guys, as always, let us know in the chats if you can see us and hear us, please. Can you yeah, pull yeah. my hair forward? Look, everybody I says look you look round. Pretty <laughs> What's face. going on, guys? Um, we're gonna give we're gonna give everybody a little while to trickle into the chat. Let's see. Right now we have. See names oh, okay. I recognize. We're, see Wendy. We already have 204 people Whoa. watching. So that's crazy. That's, that's awesome. Very crazy. All right. So, guys, this oh, is just going to be nice. like Maybe one of right our. Face. No, it's a cute face. I love your face. I, my shirts with... I love your face. I hope so. <laughs> this is going to be one of our like just regular hangout with you guys type chats. Um, it's called Learn How to Sell on eBay live with Rally Roots because that's what we like to talk about during these chats. Whatever questions you guys have about really anything, like anything to do with reselling online, any questions about us or eBay or whatever you want, let us know in the chat and we will do our best to answer your question. Oh, Pat well. Dees. Pat Pat Dees. For Allie's beautiful face. <laughs> no cereal for Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> so funny. We, 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 we uh, no, no, we okay. haven't met Pat. Um, we'll make sure that Ben does, doesn't get any of that $5. That would be just yeah, we for... bought then cereal. We bought him a giant box. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mini wheat. Ben has enough cereal now, for sure. Ben isn't here this week, but he'll be back next week. He needs to work for three weeks in a row and catch up with everything. Right. That would be amazing. I'll tell you what. It's been. We've only been. We we've only been three days. Right. This is our third day of mentoring. Yeah. This is our third day into the new group of mentoring students, and it's been a wild ride already. And we, I've helped the most of this time. Oh yeah, I've ever helped. Allie's and been ben killer. And Callie have been helping. <laughs> it's like still crazy. Callie and Ben are pretty much running our business for us for the next month, right? I mean, pretty much. You're doing everything. Yeah. Um, which frees Allie and I up to like really focus and help out with mentoring. So hopefully, the mentoring students. I know there's probably a bunch of them in this chat right now, but hopefully, they can tell you how everything's gone so far. It was hard to relinquish control. I understand why you're so tough, it's tough for me. Very to do much it. controlling about, I guess, all of the accounts because whenever Callie started responding to offers, I was like, ah. Oh. To, to, to you know, get like, is it going to be okay? But Callie's doing great. So, <laughs> yeah, 300 over 300 people watching already. That's awesome. That's all. Hey, guys, look at the new edition we got for our live shows. Check it out. Now, I don't even have to say hit the thumbs up button. I can just go like this. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of the voice. Oh, yeah. Thing, but it's a peace sign like this. Oh. So, I brewed. A cup of tea okay right, for myself but i put fresh ginger Ooh. in the pot whenever i boiled the water wow. and then nice. i pour, poured the water into another cup of tea with more ginger and now it has this beautiful ginger Very flavor cool. guys make tea with ginger it's amazing and it's really good for you your stomach it settles it nice. yeah let's start answering nice some family. questions dominic says i bought over 500 pokemon cards for 47 dollars mm. if it sells well I should bring in $200 profit. That's awesome. Mm. Um, the one thing that I'll say with those Pokemon cards, some of them are worth great money. I actually know a reseller that that only sells cards and he does very well. Um, yeah, you want to look out for the older ones and especially the holographic cards. So like a holographic Charizard will still sell for- No, you just want all the energy cards. All the energy <laughs> cards? Remember how mad you are whenever you got like so many energy cards when you'd buy a pack? Yes. I was so I know. angry. Oh, as a kid, what a scam. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> um, Thrift Mine, thank you for the $5 super chat. Appreciate it. Pre appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, it says, keep the great work. Keep on killing it, guys. You too, Thrift Mine. I like your name. That's pretty cool. I think of like, Gotta watch out. Resellers like going on with their hard hats into the thrift store, like picking at the racks, looking for stuff. Uh, and then Trent, you I said the video is not blurry. <laughs> it's not blurry on our end. So if it's blurry refresh. for everybody, it might be your internet. Yeah, just refresh the button. Should be okay. Yeah. 
Uh, free shipping or make the buyer pay? It's a great question. It's a question that we get all the time. So the answer is for us, free shipping is the best option. That doesn't mean that that is the way to go for a lot of sellers. They like to use paid shipping. What I can right. tell you, here's a couple of facts. eBay 100% gives you a boost when, in the searches when you have free shipping on your listings. That is a fact. They've said as much. Yeah. Right. Direct from eBay's like from mouth. Their mouth, they said. <laughs> you will get a boost in ranking if you provide free shipping. You also get that little fast and free shipping badge if you have uh, fast handling time and fast shipping. So we like to use free shipping. I think that it's the way that consumers like to buy at the moment. And we can we can blame Amazon Prime for that. People want their stuff fast. So we offer free shipping. Um, it's just the way that we like to list. I think I've we've we've looked at people's stores before that do paid shipping and we've told them run this experiment. Take half of your items and put them on free shipping and take the other half and leave them as they are and see which ones sell faster. It's an easy way to run the experiment and then whatever works for you, then switch your whole store to that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta experiment. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. all wearing dark colors today. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's because it was cold today. I love your Rocco shirt. That's cool. Yeah, Ryan's jealous of it. Rocco's this was modern. This was from an awesome Instagram subscriber. And then the back of it. I don't think That's I have any cool, cool. long sleeve <laughs> graphic tees. Check this out, one's from Walmart. Check out the back so of mine, though. I'm kind of sad because, you know, you Whoa. can only wash a Walmart shirt like 10 times and then it just falls <laughs> apart. MMA Corey says, love these training videos and send us $5. Thank you, oh, MMA Corey. I always read his name wrong. <clears throat> what do you read it? M. Macquarie. Oh, that that's probably what it is. I think M <laughs> I think MMA because uh, like UFC. Yeah. <laughs> that's so it, funny. It could be M. Macquarie. Could be. Huh. I don't know. Trade, Trade Federation asks, are you still using Datamine? Yep, still using Datamine. It's working well for us. Um, All right. And then Dania Rachel said, I would love to do free, sh free shipping, but I can't afford that because someone has to pay for it. So let me explain to everybody in case this is, you're thinking what this person, I think that they're thinking, right? So if something sells and you look at a comp for $20 with $10 shipping, it's selling for $30. So when we say we offer free shipping, we're not listing that item for only $20 with free shipping. We're listing that item for $30 with Free shipping. Right. We never so, lose out. Right. So it's not like we're only selling it for what the other sold comps are minus their shipping. We're adding everything together, selling it for that price and saying free shipping. But really the buyer is actually exactly. paying free shipping. It's just showing, sorry, the buyer is actually paying for the shipping, but we're just showing it as free shipping. And it looks that way. They yep. think they're getting free shipping. Yep. Right. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yes, it does. Okay, all right. Uh, Tish Floyd says, do we bother measuring shorts? Yeah, we measure the inseam so that people know how long the shorts are, uh, but we don't measure the size. <laughs> we just put the size of the shorts and then the inseam. And then Benny asks, is the uh, okay, camera? Cool. It is MMA, Corey. He used to fight. Nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Is, Sorry, I got it wrong. Um, well, let me go back to it. Is the camera on the iPhone 10 good for pictures to post? Yeah. If there's bright light, then yes. Otherwise, you're going to get, if there's like a low ISO setting, right? Because mm -hmm. your phone's going to autocorrect. If there's low light, you're going to get that graininess and it's oh. not going to be a good enough picture to post because if someone clicks on it, it's going to be, right. you know, a bit inferior quality. And your picture cellular, I remember people don't get to touch and feel it. Right. See it in person. It's the pictures they're looking at. So you have to take into account if your pictures aren't as good, you're probably going to want to decrease the price of your item compared to other items by at least 5%, yeah. like 5 to 8%. If you want it to sell, you know, fast because yeah. you're competing with people who are taking pictures with maybe fancier phones with like a lighting setup. So just let me, take that into account. Let me show you guys a couple tricks. If you are taking pictures with an iPhone, um, the first one is when you're looking at the picture, right? If you scroll over to square, that's how you should take the picture because eBay likes one, one, one aspect ratio. And then the second thing is if you're trying to get a brighter picture, if you tap on the screen and, and like slowly swipe up, that'll brighten the picture directly on there. So you tap on the screen and like slowly swipe up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but those are, nice. those are a couple tricks if you're using an iPhone. Trent Baxter, thank you for the five Australian dollars, mate. Australian dollars. The five foldies. Baxter. People hate when we do Australian accents, so let's only do Australian accents. Hi, you guys, mate. No, don't do that. So, sold the super coolest jacket, picked up for $10, sold for $250. Whoa. 
an hour after listing, sent the photo via Insta for reference. Sorry, guys, I gotta go look at this right now. All right, <laughs> I'll just pause. Where is it? Is it this one? Whoa, that's cool. That's a really cool, hope you don't mind me showing your listing. That's a really cool jacket. Nice sale, my friend. Very cool. Oh, whoa. Very Make cool. that money. Whoa. Uh, oh, that's a really good question. Mike says, thrifted a dozen summer shorts today. Is it too early in the season to list them? Get them listed. Now's the time to do it. It was uh, it was like 90 degrees in Florida a couple of days ago. So I'm, I'm wearing the shortest of shorts yeah. right now. <laughs> Even though I have long sleeves on because it was pretty cold today, I still have shorts on. So I'm so excited to get to wear my long sleeve shirt for the last time. Yeah. Steph's Until in the chat. Next Steph, year. what's up? Hey, girl. And then Do South Candle Company said you can negotiate shipping prices with UPS, USPS, and FedEx. That's what I did. I saved 4 to $20 over eBay and Amazon prices. Yes. All three compete <clears throat> with each other to get your business. So, yeah. like, you, you mean buying labels on eBay, though? I, I don't no, you can, that. like, go to the companies if you have, like, a business account with them and say, um, if, if we're shipping in volume, can you give us oh, better Oh, I see rates? what you're saying. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Very yeah. confused at first, but now I understand. Whoa, 539 Whoa. people watching. That's awesome. Crazy. Should I grab the thumbs up? Yes. Guys, hit the thumbs up button. Yes. <laughs> here, just leave it right here. Where? It's here so we can just, just grab it. Oh, so sure. I can just be like. Nice. <laughs> oh, we do have some packages to open on this live we stream as well. open one every 10 minutes. Yes. It's 8-11. Go for it. All right. And then also for St. Patrick's Day, we went to my family's house and ate corned beef and cabbage. Whoa. I love corned beef and cabbage. That's what my mom made. And wait, no, Ryan, you worked. I stayed here and worked. And worked out. Yeah. And I went to my family's. But yeah, so wait, this is for Callie. Oh. I'm sorry. This oh, actually, let's open that. look, it says Callie Rally stuff. Roots on it. It's from Billy. 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 I probably oh, should have grabbed Billy. a scissor because, you know, these things are really sticky. I was going to start opening this one because Charlie's sure. opening one. I, should open one too. Oh, I can't open it. Wendy, Ooh, thank you for the life. $5. How do you set up the shoe listings so the sold zone show in the search results? You guys are awesome humans. <laughs> thank you. Um, so all you have to do with that is you turn on where you list goods till canceled, which all fixed price listings are not listed goods till canceled. Um, so there's an option under seller settings on eBay. It's called the out of stock option. And if that option is turned on, what happens is when your item sells, instead of going straight to ended, it still stays listed, but the quantity drops from one to zero. So it stays listed. It never goes to sold comps. That's how you do it. Uh, we use that option on our stores because we get a lot of replenishable inventory. So we're buying the same stuff over and over again. So for us, when something sells and the quantity drops to zero, we might get another 10 of those items. So we just update the quantity to 10 and, it, and the listing stays active. Oh, nice. You got a hug life shirt. <laughs> hug life. That's also like Callie's kitty hug life shirt. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Because it, it has the bandana. <laughs> the bandana. It's the bandana. That's awesome. And then this is really you, interesting. Shannon and Bill. This is from one of our students. They sent us this. It's called Enberry. And they're miracle berry tablets. They thought it would be fun what? for us to try them oh. because... Uh, they are very those. native to West yeah. Africa. The berries coat your taste buds, blocking certain taste yeah. receptors, what? making anything you consume taste sweeter like than a lemon would without oh. a berry. Like Ooh, we'll the try that. effect can last up to an hour, but usually like <sighs> 30 minutes. Here so are some weird. items that are suggested to try after taking a miracle berry. Sorry, Callie. You're good. Uh, oh, okay. I just thought it was weird because I have oh. a warhead. Oh. 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 <laughs> So if you taste the lemon, it'll taste like lemonade and tomato will taste like Sharon fruit. Lime, really sweet, like drinking lime Whoa. cordial. Okay, so we're gonna have it's to try it on the next live stream because I'm not prepped. I'm not, <laughs> You're not prepped ready for that. Stations like of us that's eating awesome. lemons. So that's really exciting. That is exciting. This is broccoli, much more bearable. That's hilarious. That's, that's I interesting. Love I'll try those out for sure. Sorry for the loud sounds in the mic. Guys. You're good. <laughs> Zero mind. Thank you for the five dollars super chat. Any advice on selling medical equipment on eBay? Just got an item that could turn fifty dollars into eight hundred. Uh, eBay policy seems vague. Sometimes listings get removed. So I'm assuming you're talking about something like a CPAP machine. Um, you have to be careful listing stuff like that because it it does usually get pulled from eBay. My suggestion would be to try to sell it locally first. So try to sell that item locally first. 
if the um, if it seems vague on eBay and you've right. noticed some stuff has been pulled, more than likely, <laughs> the creepy thumbs up. More than likely, uh, it's safer to to not list that item. Or one thing you can do, eBay has been very responsive lately on the phone with their sellers. Give eBay a call, tell them what you have, and ask them if if uh, if you're allowed to list it, and they'll tell you. There you go. And then Tony asks, "What do you think about AliExpress and drop shipping?" Not a fan. We're not fans of drop shipping. We we'll, we say that every live show, but you mean to drop ship through AliExpress or do you mean separately like to private label an item through AliExpress? Because if you're talking about drop shipping, we're not fans and you have to be very careful. Um, very few people are successful who drop ship of the whole pie of people that drop ship. Yeah. Yeah. KC Beta, thank you for the $5 super chat. Is there a price range you look for when thrifting? Example, dress shirts when you guys first began reselling. That's a really good question. We did. Um, so pr price range, let's talk about a buy price range and a sell price range. Yes. Um, buy, we when we're thrifting, we're looking for, I would say, under $5. Now I'm going to talk about averages. So under $5, over $30. We'll buy it under 5 sell it over 30 For us, that's what we typically look for. We're not about buying something for a dollar and selling it for 10. That's not the type of model that works for us. Because think about that. If you buy something for a dollar and sell it for 10, after shipping, which is more expensive now, it's probably going to cost you five five bucks to ship, maybe four seventy five, dollars something like that. Um, and then after fees, you're only left with like 2 or $3 profit. Is it really worth your time to take the pictures, list the items, deal with customer service, possibly deal with returns? In our opinion, no, it's not. So we don't like selling low end items. We don't like selling ties. We don't like selling anything under really $30. Our average sales price on our eBay stores pretty much across the board is right around 40 bucks. Um, and that's where we like it to be. That makes it worth our time. But so. if there's an item and we know if we buy it at $5, we can sell it at $23 within 24 like hours fast. of listing it, we will buy yeah. it. And that happens with a lot of things like Oakley shirts and Harley Davidson shirts and Affliction shirts, yeah. for example. Those are just three examples of items that we find often <clears> enough <throat> to say we'll buy it even if it's five dollars because as soon as it gets listed it sells and we've never had a return on any of those items yeah we don't get returns ever in fact we accidentally sent someone the wrong affliction shirt and they wanted it bought that one the other person who we, we like mix them up they returned it and then that person bought it again so someone bought like multiple affliction shirts from us <laughs> that was so funny it worked out perfectly it was yeah it was something yeah. like that but so that happens you know the Whitakers sent us five bucks. They're in our mentoring program right now. That's awesome. Are you getting in the mentoring program? Sorry. <laughs> 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 um, well, you guys rock too, the Whitakers. I had a friend in high school. They were a family called the Whitakers. I wrestled with them. All three of the brothers wrestled. It was. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Funny. I was in a class with them. They were ripped. And look, Valerie crazy. said Hermes ties sell for around $90. There's a bolo, guys. Hermes. Right. Okay. So. I take that back a little bit. We will sell a tie if it's a high-end brand. I'm talking about like a $10 tie. We're not going to waste our time selling that. Um, but obviously, high-end designers, we sell. A uh, question about shipping. And thank you, Daniel, for the $10. Really appreciate that. Question about shipping. Uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I just sold seven items today for a total of $193. Good job, first of all. Ooh, but with amazing. priority shipping, it came out to $68 for shipping. Oh, that seems yeah. high to me. It was a mix of items of varying sizes. All right, so let's look at that. I think that actually sounds pretty average. Yeah. $68. Feels high. Depends what kind of items there are, but 68, 68 divided by seven, $9.71 an item. Oh, uh, yeah. If they were all first class items, if they're all like under 16 ounces, then obviously that, that's high. Yeah. You shouldn't be that high. But if they were all over a pound, that's that's about right. Through yeah. USPS, prices are pretty high right now. Um, mm -hmm. The one suggestion I would say is look into flat rate envelopes. Those are what, like 750? 733 for us. Seven, for seven, padded flat rate. 733 for a padded flat rate. Um, and then. But if you don't have a store, it is slightly higher. You don't get as much of a discount. Well, if you're not a top rated uh, and, plus or seller. a top rated plus yeah. salary, right? If you um, and then the other one would be a regional A box that ranges for us from like eight dollars and like 10. ten cents up to like ten dollars and something Six cents. It goes up to like ten fifty. Yeah. So look into those regional A <laughs> and uh, flat rate envelope. And then the other thing is if for items for like small heavy items. Um, look into pirate ship as well because sometimes cubic rate shipping can be cheaper than yeah. through ebay 
Hope, hopefully that helps. Thanks again for the 10 bucks. Appreciate and Aubrey it. asked, what do we use to measure clothes? We use a yardstick. Yeah. And then we put it, let me see if I can pull up a picture of how we list the measurements. Or if you just go to our eBay store, everybody, you can see if you're wondering how we do it. That's true. But I could pull it up really quickly. Yeah. Kawaii Cactus Boutique says, my husband Kauai. says you look like you're 12 years old to me. Oh, <laughs> that's a good thing. Do I look like a little baby? <laughs> that's how we take a we take pictures of our measurements and put them as an actual picture on the eBay listing. So that's how we do our measurements, and mostly that we mostly do it that way because a lot of people are using phones to buy stuff now, um, and people don't like if you're doing measurements with a with like a measuring tape and taking a picture of that. People on their phones aren't going to zoom in to the to the number and try to find it, you know, and hardly anybody clicks on the description from their phone. They just look at the item, look how much it is, check the buyer's feedback and buy. That's just how eBay is right now. So oh, we got kind of blurry. Whoop. That's better. Nice. Fixed it. Um, all for crypto. Five, thank you for the five, is that Euro? Five pounds. No, I think that's a Euro. Right, yeah, five pounds. Is it pounds. pounds the other one? <laughs> um, have you ever thought about using a better alternative to eBay? No fraudulent chargebacks and lower fees. Uh, if you guys want to go check out their websites, you're welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, crypto is crypto's great. A lot of you guys know that I'm really good friends with a guy whose name is Chris Dunn. He's super, super knowledgeable in cryptocurrency. So I know, visit. I know quite a bit about it, but I'm not going to talk either way whether I like cryptocurrencies or not. That is your decision to make. Uh, you need a Rally Roots hat? Yeah, they're on our website right now. You can go buy one if you like. Yeah, I just yeah. sent you the link, sir. Nice. And we have, let's see, mm. 652 people watching right now. Awesome. Whoa. Thanks for being here, guys Whoa. and girls. And then just so you know, guys, we get to only animals. read about like 10% because the chat's really, really fast. You're really a lot fast. Of so we only get to read maybe about like 10. It seems like we're reading at least 20%, 20%. right now of the live chat. So if we miss your questions, we're really sorry. Your question, just please. leave them in the comments below and we'll do your, your comment below. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> <laughs> just keeps going. Beautiful. Fancy. I'm pretty awesome. sure that you started oh, that. Gosh dang it. The Drew, Euro, the Euro thing. You You're started welcome. that. <laughs> um, Anne Marie, yeah, I managed to a live show. Come to California. Love to meet you guys. We plan on be or coming to California soon because there's a lot of people over there that we would love to hang out yeah. with. So. And you are one of them. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tesla makes puffer coats. Yes, they do. Keith so. bought one for $75 at Goodwill. What? Ooh, That's I know how awesome. Much it will sell for. Um, yeah, Goodwill charging seventy five dollars for a coat. Get out of here. That's amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure they're they're expensive. Let's look. And then Joe asks, mm -hmm. "Have you done any offer to buyers yet on eBay? We don't have that yet. Do we? Don't we? Have the button. we don't have the button. No, the yet. button hasn't come yet, but it's going to be on everyone's eBay account apparently by the end of the month. So yeah. they have yeah, like thirteen days." We're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we have, yeah, we did the beta, but they haven't put it on our like actual store yet. Right, and, and some of our mentor students have it. Yeah, and they said it worked for them. Someone had three sales. Yeah. So how exciting is that? I can't find the puffer coats, but there's the Tesla soft shell coats that there's one that sold for two hundred bucks. Yeah, it's one awesome. that sold for one seventy five. So I don't know. It could be good. One hundred and twenty. Doing that for a long. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My allergies are still so bad. Oh, I do feel bad for you. It sounded like it. No, oh I do. God. I know. I know. Oh, sorry, so guys. Funny. Sometimes I'm just, you um, know. <laughs> Chick Rocker 77 Ooh. sent us 10 doll hairs. Um, commented the other day about the roller printer. You said it's not wireless. I have a laptop. If I were to plug, unplug wherever I needed, you think it would work and be okay? How often do you buy ink? Um, so the roller, you don't have to buy ink it's ever. A thermal printer. Yeah, that's what's so cool about it. It's a bit expensive initially, but you don't have to buy ink ever. It's and it's fast. so fast. It's stupid fast. It's super fast. Yeah. We wish that's one thing that we had purchased immediately. The first three months yeah. of eBay. Get a get a thermal printer. If it's not a Rolo, like get something else. But I can tell you that we've used the Rolo for year, years, two years now. Something like that. At least um, a year. And we had like one little issue one time, and it was the labels, not the printer. Right. So the printer's awesome. I would highly recommend getting one. If you're shipping current. more than five items a day average, you should have one. Yeah. And yeah, you can plug your, your laptop in, and um, it, it'll work for you. It gets plugged in and out and in and out yeah. of the laptop all the time. All the time. Yeah. In different laptops. We do. We run our entire business off of laptops. It gets around. 
we t- <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any desktop computers. Yeah, we run everything off of a lappy tap. Yeah. Lappy tap. Brian sends us five dollars. Thanks, Brian. If you ever get to Pennsylvania, hit the community aid Thursday morning. One dollar color tags. I bought wow. a seventy nine dollar dress for a dollar. What? They do furniture as well for a dollar. Super. No cool. way. That's awesome. Um, when Whoa. will we ba- be back in Atlanta? Buy my products eight six four. Thanks for the. $5. We'll be back for Dragon Con, which yeah. I need to buy the tickets for. That'll be the next time. When's Dragon Con? September. September. It's Maybe what um, on a, a holiday weekend. Uh, la- labor? Yeah. No, I don't know. One of those long uh, weekends. Maybe like this time when we go to Atlanta, we should go up like a week early, maybe thrift around a little bit, do a, another meetup, meet some people. Maybe we'll um, do it that way. Yeah. All right, guys. And that. again, if you if we miss your question, please ask it again. Lots and lots of people asking questions. So we are trying to get to everything. Thank you for being here with us tonight. We appreciate it. Um. Ah. It's going really fast. My biggest sale yet was a Burberry fragrance bag. Paid three dollars, sold ninety five dollars. Macari made seventy one dollars profit. Awesome, very cool. Um, Macari's been popping, by the way. We don't yeah. sell on Macari, but I've seen a lot of sellers selling on there. Um, there's a guy on Instagram called Secondhand Hand Swagger, and he was showing his Macari sales from yesterday. They went through their basement and they had a whole bunch of uh, bolted pop figures that they didn't oh, know that they had. Cool. They threw them up on Macari. All of them sold within an hour. Whoa. So for um, for selling Funko what? Pops, Mercari, they made like $700 in an hour. That's insane. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. That's insane. Crazy. I think yeah. my face has been blurry. Oh, YouTube. no, there it's fixed. Yeah. They run so many ads. It's insane. Um, Adrian says, will you guys still pick up J Crew? J Crew kind of falls into the category for us of like Tommy and Polo. We pick up maybe 5% of it. Probably less, but yeah, maybe say- 5%. But yeah. yeah, for every hundred items we look at, maybe we do pick up about five. Yeah. Ben That's needs true. a thermal printer. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have a sticky label. I still cut up my shipping labels. Oh, Ben, we'll get you a thermal printer. Just, <laughs> just, just use ours. Just all your stuff at the warehouse. We'll ship yeah, it. Yeah, can we ship it. <laughs> nice. Uh, That's what we used to do. We used to tape our labels down and then we yeah. got the sticky ones. So much better. Yeah, the sticky ones are great, Ben. Just buy those. We were like, yeah, we used to tape, then we went to sticky labels, and we're like, why have we been using these forever? And then we went to the thermal printer, and we're like, oh my oh, gosh. This is the best thing changer. ever. Well, also, remember that one time all our labels got rained on, and we had to yes. redo an entire container of labels. There was Learning like a experience. light miss, and the miss just like somehow it got on them because we put them out on the porch, and five minutes a miss came, and then it went, and it, boom, it just all the labels had to be redone. Crazy. It was so stressful. Judy, thank you for the five doll hairs. Are we in the global shipping program? I saw my first international sale last night. Awesome. Everybody should be in the global shipping program. Yeah. It's great. We probably sell, I don't know, 10 or so things a week through the global shipping program. Definitely. Yeah, maybe more. Uh, Wendy says, what laptop do you use? Camera are you using now? Um, this camera is the Logitech Brio, B-R-I-O, just a webcam. Um, when we're filming, like shooting a vlog, we use a Sony A7 III. Um, and Just recently was, upgraded from the Canon G7X. G7X Mark II. Mark II. Mark II Laptop, all of us have MacBook Pros. Yeah. Mine's old and I love it. <laughs> it's slow, <laughs> but I don't care. Oh, babes. Ryan was like, <laughs> it's not working. Why isn't it working? Nice, nice Pat tease. And I was Pat like, you tease. just got to give it a second. It's old, babe. No, we need to get you a new MacBook for sure soon. Why? All right. Master's Cup. You guys like that? I found it. That's pretty sweet. I found three. We sold two. a set of two together. For like for, 30? No, I think it was like 37.77. Really? Pretty sure that's what they sold for. Nice. And then, oh, Holy we got to open more chats. things. We have 718 people watching right now. Whoa. Yeah, you better open up some packages. This... Guys, hit that thumbs up button for us. We really appreciate it. <laughs> what if it was just my face forever? If I was just a thumbs up button. And this is from Leroy Mayer. Dang it. Yes. Although, did I That's say the I person's think. name from the last item? It's from Britain. Britain. And this is from Britain. Leroy. Okay. Mine was from Did I miss a super Bill. chat? Oh, I did miss a super yeah. chat. Hold on. Thank you, Ready Vic, for the $5 super chat. Loving mentoring, going on vacation for a week, binge watching class vids with wife. Thank you for your knowledge. Awesome. That's cool that you're going on vacation. Leroy sent us something colorful. Oh, I, saw, I know what these are. 
You know what this is? Well, I know what that is because oh. they said he said he was sending it to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. Sick, right? Don't get a tattoo in this and get ink on it. Vintage gotcha tank. That's, that's amazing. Awesome. So sick. I wonder if there's a date like on this. My one. brother had something like that back in the back in the old the days. 90s. 1992 date on it. And then this Ooh. is also for Ryan, right? Sick. Looks like an XL. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> oh, I got it? a space cat shirt. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> that one's really cool. Space. <laughs> it's like a cat in the moon shirt. That is Love cool. that. Um, and then All Is One sent us $10 and said, would you suggest investing $20,000 to start an inventory? Or would you suggest to start minimally? Thanks, guys. 100%, if you're new to this game, 100% start small. So I don't care if you have $20,000 to go and spend on inventory. Um, one, you're going to have a hard time listing it because you're gonna be gated on a bunch of stuff on Amazon and you're gonna be restricted to how much inventory you can list on eBay. Yeah. So start small, maybe start with a thousand bucks, go out. Um, if you have that kind of capital, I would suggest going to auctions maybe. Um, mm -hmm. So garage sales and auctions, um, start networking with people and, and working in your local area, looking for you know liquidation and that kind of stuff. Um, but 20K, it's great that you have that, uh, but do not go and blow it all in, on you know, a right. few products that you're going to be stuck with. Learn as you go. Yeah. This is sick. Yeah, that's really awesome. All right. Tash says, where is my gift, guys? Is there one from us? Oh, there's three more. Oops. Sweet. There's one, two, and How then did... a big box. A big guys. box. So many presents. <laughs> it's very light and very large. Marge wants to know what a regional A and a regional B box is. Well, you can go to the post office's you website and you can order free boxes from them. And the regional A and the regional B have specific prices per code, yeah. region code that they get shipped to. Yeah. This is from Kayla. That? I'm not a good question answerer. Uh, Junkman, I don't think we've ever broken a thousand people on the live show. But maybe one day soon. We're at 702 right now. It's pretty cool. Everyone go call your friends. This is for Callie. Oh. Sounds like kitty cat toys. <laughs> oh, guys, everybody send Callie kitty cat toys. Oh, it's for Posty and Malcolm. Nice. Oh, so sweet. Thanks. Awesome. Can everyone see Callie? Is she cut off? No. no she's okay. No, okay. She may not cut off. Just want to make Does sure someone say. Uh, can you end listings on eBay without any penalties? Absolutely. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. Uh, the only time you'll get penalized is if you penalized. have... If, pen, penalized? No, you said it right. Uh, uh, is if you have... You if, you're running an, <laughs> if you're running an auction and it has a bid on it already and then you cancel that auction, then you're going to get hit with a with a ding, yes. But right. if you're just ending like a item that's for sale... I ended 68 items today. So, no. You don't get... <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That's, what's this person's name? Oh, that's awesome. Milton, thank you for the $5. It says, to your success, I'm buying you beer or wine. Keep up the good work. Nice. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you. Mike. We'll save that. I'm doing kind of like a no alcohol cleanse for a little bit, but absolutely. We'll no, we a enjoy a glass of wine. I actually don't like beer. How funny was that? I do. I'm a liquor oh, girl. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and pa, pao gra? Pao gra. Pao. I probably said what? that wrong. Um, but thanks for the five dollars. How long did it take you to get your business running to the point where you could make a living from it? That's a good question. Um, so for us, it's kind of it's kind of a little bit different. I don't suggest doing it the same way that we did it. Yeah, we didn't do it the right way. Yeah, so okay. we kind of like because I've owned other businesses in the past, we kind of like jumped into this business full force. Um, we didn't have other jobs. We didn't like have a job and run this business at the same time. We just only focused on this business. So it took us about six, I would say six to eight months to be able to have enough income to to live off of. Um, for most people, I would say if you have like a nine to five job and you're running this as well, run them both at the same time. Um, put put good effort into your nine to five job, same amount of effort, and then put good effort into your reselling business, run them at the same time. And then when you're ready to quit one, go with the other. And then we used our guest room. Remember, we set up like a plastic table in there. And we had all the stuff in there. And then we're like, all right, yeah. we can only ship out of the guest room. We need to keep our inventory in the garage. <laughs> yeah. So we kept everything that was safe to keep in the garage in the garage and like containers. And then we were like, all right, now we need a space. 
yeah. because we're tapped out. We can't take up our living room. And that's when we decided we're going to really go hard. Right. And we've been in our warehouse that. now for over two years, right? We've been in our current yeah. warehouse for over two years. Oh. We actually just went to the um, the code code enforcement office today, our county code enforcement office, to start doing plans for our warehouse that we're building. Um, so that is coming soon. That's the next step in our business is we, we already bought the land for our business. Um, so now we're gonna be building on the land. Pretty cool. You need a cutter. You need, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Um, Chick Rocker 77, thank you again for the $5. Uh, branching out from pops and now doing clothes, shoes. How do you have so much patience going through all the clothes? <laughs> Tip's been looking for shoes. Um, so if you're just getting into clothing and shoes, the one tip that I would give you is focus on the, the sections of the thrift store that pay out bigger money to begin with, right? So instead of going through all the t-shirts, t-shirts take a long time to go through and you're really looking for that, you know, that one vintage t-shirt that's going to be worth a lot of money. Same with polos, same with dress shirts. My suggestion would be go look at the shoes, um, go look at the electronics, uh, and then go look at the jackets to look for like North Face, Patagonia, higher end brands that sell for more money and stick to those, uh, those clothing and shoe items first. And then you can get in and out of a thrift store usually in under like half an hour. And then this is from Jojo. Huh. It's I for me. See something unicorn. Ryan's very upset. Oh, no, oh my upset. gosh. So useful. Tape dispenser. Oh, nice. It's a tape dispenser. With rainbow oh tape my in God. it. Thank you, Jojo. That's, cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Yes. It's all useful. right. So, hello, Rally Roots. Thank you for providing all of your amazing content. We have found it extremely valuable. They appreciate us being honest, and there is now cursive. But anyway, so I'll read this <laughs> off camera. There's now cursive. <laughs> See what um, you're sorry, Callie, for interrupting you. I saw someone say, what about jeans? Jeans are good, but they're heavy. Um, and again, you're, for us, we're going for a certain price point. So when you're just starting out, I would, I would honestly, jeans are good because they're easy to list and there's certain brands you can buy and you know will sell, right? Um, but I don't know. I, I, personally, we don't really like selling jeans because we can't get to the, to the right profit on them. Steph has to leave. Oh no, Steph! I didn't know. But that. Steph, what's going got flood on? Flood damage. Oh. oh no. Oh geez, sorry. Well, yeah, go go deal with that. Let us know if you need help with anything, Steph. Yeah. Share selling through EvoWorks. John, would you consider three thousand dollars in sales in our first ninety days to be pretty good? Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's very good. Um, what I would do if I were you is I would look at your store, take a step back, look at your business, and say, um, where did I make the most profit? In what section of my business did I make the most profit? What categories are really good for me? And where can I expand? Like, where can I really go hard? Were shoes really good? Should I put a lot of effort into shoes? I don't know. Were vintage electronics really good? Should I try to find a bunch of those? Yes. Yeah. Definitely find those. When's our next meetup in Florida? Tomorrow. <laughs> I don't kidding. know. It's hard to play to meet up. Every it time is. I do, it's always super loud. And I call before and I ask them and they make it sound like it's the best place in the world to go. And then we get there and it's too loud. And <laughs> we'll do another one. We'll do another one probably in Tampa next. We're we going to have that kickball tournament. Uh, yeah, no. right? well, we got to get Eric to plan that for True. us. <laughs> yeah, Eric needs to plan that just for in Florida? All right. Yeah. Oh, look, Rankin's Rankin in profit. the chat. He sent us 10 bucks. He says, love those x Files shirts. Yes. Score. That was some of our best vintage t-shirt finds ever. Those no, it was our best. All in a row, 100%. T-shirt yeah. find ever. Yeah. And we will never experience that again. That yeah. will never happen to us again. That was our once Girl, in a lifetime. Know. That's true. There's We're no not, way that's ever Tupac going shirts. to happen again. <laughs> ever. Awesome. Probably not x Files shirts, but. Like that will never probably happen for us again. That was it, the it's craziest happen again. thing. Okay. All right. I mean, I hope it happens again. Just what's the likelihood of that? Not X-Files shirts, but it'll definitely happen again. It happens every Just day like to a, people. I don't know. That's um, true. Stephanie C., thank you for the $10. Just want to say, hey, I'm a new mentoring student. Looking forward to the journey. Awesome. awesome. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first three days. It's been great mm. for us. Yeah, and Adrian asked, how many items do you guys list per day? We don't actually look at it per day. We do per week, and we do 100 listings per week. Minimum. Minimum. And Minimum. and sometimes just because it's 100 listings doesn't mean that it's not 500 items. Right. Because we're listing multi a lot of multi-quantity items a lot. I mean, one week we had like 1,000 new items. Right. But they were only, what, like between 12 listings or that many? Well, it probably wasn't 1,000. It was probably only... 
500, like 500, yeah. right? I'm exaggerating. It feels like, because they're so big, all the appliances. It, it felt like a thousand 10. things. <laughs> it felt like that many. Um, this is a good question. If you offer free shipping, how, how low would you go for a best offer on an item? Um, so only you can decide how much to, or how low to go, because you know how much you paid for the item. For us, when we list an item, we work in about a 20% buffer, and that'll be the money that we play with on the offer. So if we if we list an item for $100, we have a 20% buffer in there, so we know we'll take about an $80 offer. If we have something listed for 100 bucks and someone offers 50, we'll just counter at like 90, and then if they offer 75, we'll counter at 80, and then usually it'll sell. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, I was trying to get to whoa, these no. superb chats. Superb that chat. was crazy fast. Trent Thank Baxter. you, Trent Baxter, for your superb chat of five Australian doll hairs. Oh, six. Five Australian That doll. moment, Ray can profit joins the chat, and Ryan has a celeb moment. Your yes. eyes look up. I love Steve. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's been to our house. We played video games together. That We went and got he's beers together. Dude. He's an awesome guy. He's an OG. Yeah. OG in the game. OG. Uh, Kenny, thank you for the one dollar superb chat. Superb. <laughs> <laughs> ben said, "What is crazy is that he was looking for X Files tees forever, and then you found." That's what was crazy. All of those. He even yeah. had it in his in his sorry. He was bitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he bought two of them from us at yeah. that family discount, um, but he had on his Instagram profile. Ben puts like the kind of T-shirts that he's currently looking for, and he put on there. It's uh, X Files T-shirts, and then I ended up finding them. Crazy, and he was here. He was in town taking pictures for us. He's working. Sorry, Ben, but but I will say Ben has found um, I think one of the Amazing. most expensive T-shirts, uh, more expensive than than one that we've sold. He found a, a Nine Inch Nails T-shirt that sold for a ton of money. So that's I know. awesome. One of our friends is obsessed with Nine Inch Nails, and we told her, and she was just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. She reads Reddit threads about people freaking out about Nine Inch yeah. Nails vintage concert t-shirts. Yeah. Or just older, not quite vintage yet, but still, it's awesome. 736 people watching? Where did my thumb go? I'm gonna have to use my regular thumbs. Oh, there right it is. <laughs> hey, guys, hit the thumbs up button for us. It actually helps our videos out, so I'd appreciate cool you guys. It's actually chocolate, and I was just like, and be. I ate it, but it's not. <laughs> did you open? This isn't chocolate. Can I open this one? Yeah, let me start slicing it I've open. Got, oh no, I did get I got the gotcha shirt. This is from, <laughs> where's my present? I'm the cat shirt. <laughs> Their name is covered by the sticker. Is no, it we'll 221 Bakery? A note in here. Someone asked if we opened their box yet. 221 uh, Bakery, New York. New York. This, no, is, this from is from Illinois. Well, I didn't where see was it. this one from? I didn't have a name with it. No, we might have. We just picked stuff up today from the post office, so it might still be. It might have come later. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Yeah. What are the questions you guys have? We are going to be with you for another 17 minutes. So if you have questions that we haven't answered, put them in the chat and we'll do our best to get to you. This is from Chrissy and Lynn at Pink Garnet Vintage and more. Oh my gosh, it's for Kelly! Oh, Aww. Kelly, look! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you guys, a turtle. It's a turtle. So it has all our names: Ryan, Ellie, Kelly, and Ben. While sourcing, we found a few items we wanted to send you as a thank you. And thinking of you gifts, we found a cool. Oh wait, no, I can't say what we found. <laughs> Let me hand it to you. There you go. Oh, wow. That That's is dope. awesome. Oh, it says celebrate your roots on it. That's sick. That's so cool. So celebrating your roots, um, baseball cap, Velcro pocket on the side. Oh, dang. Ryan and Allie That's for celebrating dope. your roots because you guys are awesome oh. in the Velcro pack it's for like, Allie's love of fanny pack. It's like super military looking. And That's then sick. two amazing turtles. So that's also a turtle oh, for Kelly. Oh, like They've all been love. sanitized and cleaned and packed with love and gratitude to our fellow resellers. That pocket that on the side. That is so sweet. Thank you, guys. They cleaned everything for us. That's dope. Thank you. There was the guy. And they there spent $12 to ship it to us, too. So, thank wow. You. Thank you. Even more. Thank you. Kenny did the super chat, but it didn't let him put the Sorry, Ben. In. They didn't find anything oh. for you, they said. Sorry, Kenny. Um, what, what do we do to clean prep clothes shoes before we post them? So uh, we we wash stuff that needs it. So if it has like an odor or stain or something, we'll wash it. Um, and then for, what was the other one? Shoes. We clean shoes. So we use like shoe polish and like a horsehair brush sometimes for leather. 
Oh, you want to China know post. a cool hack that I figured out for removing yeah, like a Mark permanent Mark. marker from the bottom of a leather shoe? So oh, yeah. Have some really yeah, nice, yeah. like, cool Hans or floor shines, Bostonians, any of the above dress shoes or really nice high-end shoes that are leather bottoms, guys. You know where they write in the arch? Sunblock and, like, a towel. I wouldn't recommend using a paper towel. Just use like a throwaway rag. Sunblock. Crazy. Sunblock. It was Crazy. amazing. Weird. It is it weird. It removed. And it worked. Very well. It <laughs> there's also other, causes cancer. There's other ones like, <laughs> like yeah. uh, Goo Gone works really well sometimes. But not everyone has Goo Gone. Right. And yeah, some like everybody has. Yeah. Right. Everybody. Well, what right. I, doesn't does, everyone have sunblock in their house? Or is that just a Florida <laughs> thing? Whoa. It it's totally awesome. It's a floppy Flippers. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, <laughs> Casey Beta says, do we steam or iron our thrift merchandise? Not yeah. usually. It'll just get washed and hung and the wrinkles will fall out or we'll like lay the stuff on we top of each other. We flat lay everything in a stack on top of each other. So about the time Ben comes and does pictures, yeah. the wrinkles are mostly gone. It's actually very effective. <laughs> It's so weird. You just stack dirty clothes on top of each other and they look clean. Yeah. Well, most people donate <laughs> from their closets and not their hampers. Yeah. Uh, uh, where are we at? Wait, where are you going to write, read Pow? Yeah. Pow. Oh, okay. Go for it. My name is Paolo Gracia. Paolo Gracia. Not to be confused with Paola, Paola Garcia. Garcia. How is easier, yeah. Ella? Do you recommend a mannequin for pictures or is it a waste of money? That's a good money? question. We actually found that mannequins were a waste of our time. For it was us. just an inefficient yeah. use of our time, not a waste. Because, I mean, your time is valuable, right? So what's the most efficient way to use your time? And right. for us, because we have little of it and we have so much inventory, doing the flat lay hanger, which we got from Side Hustle Pros. Trista did it. Um, so it has a network now. They changed. Oh, the they name. changed it. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Nice. I love that. That's. I like That's how cool. they they changed yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole network. Change. Yeah. Whole but, network. So we figured that SHL. flat laying was very effective. We should change it to Rally Roots Equally. Network. Rally Roots Network. R R N. Run. 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 Hardcore fun. Yeah, we used to list on a mannequin, and we don't anymore. That was mm -hmm. years ago. But for us, it time. Like Ali yeah. said, time saver. Just don't have. Yeah. We like the way stuff looks a mannequin though. Honestly, if yeah, I could 100%. if if I could list clothing anyway, I would list it with a photographer and a model. So all of our clothing would be taken on actual people. Because I think that that is the best way that I like to list. I feel so. like every once in a while we should just gather a bunch of things and we should model them. Yeah. I mean, or I did it with that Tommy jacket once. And have all the people at the meetup wear the stuff. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. That would be so funny. A photo booth. Like Who a, wants to yes, be in our store? Love that. Um. I like when Ryan answers all the hard questions. I just <laughs> answer the easy questions. Like, what's your favorite milkshake? Oh, something just and sold. What's your favorite cookie? You know? Honey. That's a cool sale. Let me show you guys this sale. This just sold on eBay for us. Just oh, because nice. this is a cool one. Oh, the base. Oh, Great. sorry. <laughs> the what? <laughs> now they know. This just, know. this just sold for us for, fi for $50. I had synced it. It's a baseball bat. I believe we picked that up at a garage sale for like 2 or $3. Baseball bats sell very well. And Callie knows how to ship them. Yeah. I do. <laughs> How do you ship them, Kelly? We get those um, triangle boxes from USPS. Yeah. I don't know. The triangle I think boxes. Pretty sure different they're different dimensions. I think they're called triangle boxes. Yeah. But we use that. And if I don't have that, I just use a regular brown box that we have. And honestly, with the baseball bat, you can just wrap cardboard around it. Sure. I just bubble wrap both ends. Yeah. And then stick it in the box and it can't move around I mean, anymore. It smart. hits a ball going 90 miles per hour. Right. It's but like you, you don't want to get no. You want to get it dented it. though, yeah. Yeah, true. Like buy a baseball. You want that ball to flash Ooh, straight. Buy grind baseball. till it's mine. I found a 1994 Grateful Dead tie dye summer tour shirt what? and can't find any comps for the design. How should I price it? It's single stitch and an excellent use condition. Is it first Best of all? Best way to sell that is just to send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. If it's a large or an extra large, I don't think I have that one. Um, send us a DM on Instagram, and if if it's not my size, I'll still I'll let you know like how much it's worth. You're but, so nice. Yeah, if it's not, I'll I'll buy it. Ryan never stops working, but he did cook me dinner tonight. I Yay. did. How was it? 
It was really good. We're eating clean. So I made turkey burgers with like ginger in it. Really good. I love and, ginger. And, and broccoli. Burgers. And it was good. And no bun or anything, you know, because what? Time out. Do you need a separate channel out. for cooking with Ryan? <laughs> <gasps> for real. Callie thinks I'm a good cook. And then cooking with Allie. I've never even tasted it. It just always looks amazing. We thought it'd be funny. We have a friend who's a cooking. chef. If he came and like side by side, he's like, okay, now oh, yeah. dice. That's right. The tomato. And I have to keep up with him. So we got to do all the food the same, like together. And then he's like, okay, you know, like now slice or whatever fancy terms there are. Your for time starts cutting food. now. <laughs> chip, yes. chop it up. Contestants. I bet everyone would love to watch that. And yeah. we just did like a side by side. <laughs> we should do that. Oh my God. It'll be so funny. Like 10 out of 10 would sub to Roots Cooking. <laughs> oh my God. See? <laughs> um, oh look, Ben says uh, I made a s ton of chicken today. Thanks for the air fryer. Yes. You're welcome. We gave you're Ben welcome. our other air fryer. We're actually out of air fryers, which is crazy. We've probably sold now, like in our lifetime of selling those air fryers, what at least three hundred. Yeah, I was gonna say more than two hundred and fifty. Yeah. So that's like because we had. Dang, that's so How many? much weight is that that I've lifted? So much. <laughs> Callie is strong. <gasps> oh, Harry Tornado, thank you for the $5. I've been working on my reseller YouTube channel. You guys are an inspiration. Awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. The one piece of advice, I saw a few people ask about if they're going to, if they want to start like a reseller YouTube channel. The one piece of advice that I'll give you is try to do something different. Um, Try to... Do something that isn't currently being done. Whatever that is, you know, try be to fun try and to be exciting. Yeah, and keep things positive. A lot of resellers like start their channels and they're really positive and stuff. And then they let the the comments and the outside environment and other YouTube resellers like influence their style. And then all of a sudden they're doing these like negative videos. And I don't know, it's not worth it, guys. It's a small, tight community. We we need to keep it positive and help each other out. The channel should be hashtag feed alley. Marge asks if I cook and I only air fry and cook chicken or eggs. That's it. I can actually cook chicken now. You can burn bacon pretty well. I cannot. But that make girl bacon. can eat. But she I can, can eat. eat. Hashtag feed Allie. Oh my God. I have an appetite. Oh, Heroes Japan Whoa. is back. Yen. Yen. Thank you for the 500 yen. I sell all kinds of products from Japan and want to know what is popular anime right now and what kind of anime product is good to sell. Ooh. We haven't been keeping up with the new anime lately. Um, I, I mean, I, it's pretty easy to figure out what's popular based off of if you just look at like the stuff in pop culture that's at like even like hot topic, for example. That's true. Like just what's that? <laughs> what's that? hot topic what do they have in the center well, i mean if i don't think japan has it but if you go into like a store like hot topic right where they sell or like spencer's they'll have like sections true in the center where it's like at one point they had all the nightmare before christmas and then they had yeah. another section of like all the little mermaid and then they had another section of all dragon ball z and then they had like harry potter you know i mean i know that like that's not anime but that's just an example of to see like what's really really popular yeah which is pop culture you know so uh, My Hero Academia is huge right now. So yes. huge. And yes. Dragon Ball Z is still everywhere. It's only everywhere. getting it's only getting more and more popular. And Pokemon wow. revitalized. It's uh, everywhere. Yeah, well there's jeez. Oh, that'd be sweet. Oh, no. oh, we should do long sleeve crew next. We oh my goodness. That would be so. That's a great and idea. Then just like a silhouette of my head right here. Of course. Instead of the fist bumps. Well, I was thinking like a huge actual like life size picture of your yes. face. And then oh my god. Thug life on the belly. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Um, love the mystery return box you did. Yeah, that was uh, quite know, the mystery return box. I know, that was so box. funny. Can't be mad about it, right? Because that was our fault for not opening it on time. But mm. it was gross. <laughs> uh, you said you list at least 100 items a month. How many of those items are used from sourcing, thrift stores, et cetera? 100 items a week. We list 100 items a week at least. And it's 100 listings, not just 100 items. Um, how many of those are used from, sor from sourcing, thrift stores, et cetera? I would say... 20 to 30 percent yeah because we're listing on multiple platforms and multiple stores so a lot of our stuff comes from wholesale it's not all from thrift stores and garage sales words words yeah words. pokemon so i'm excited to see detective pikachu, detective pikachu! <laughs> ryan reynolds is so funny he's funny i thought you were going to say something else too so fun <laughs> 
I mean, he is a Ryan, so he gets a pass. I mean, everybody knows <laughs> probably whenever I just say Ryan Reynolds' name and smile, how I feel about him. I agree. So, and Ryan feels the same way. <laughs> <laughs> People still want fanny packs. Oh, We're going to do tote bags. Okay, so here's the merch lineup, guys. We're going to do clothing next, so maybe uh, hoodies and long sleeve shirts and T-shirts. Everybody likes a good T-shirt. Um, so we're going to do that. And then Allie's still working on tote bags, reusable tote yeah, bags. Yeah, I think I got them down. So I don't know See? how much people are going to be willing to pay for it, but they're going to be canvas, oh, cool. not the plastic oh, awesome. cheapo ones. Awesome. Like we could get those plastic cheapo ones, but you I want them to actually last. They're going to be canvas. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, I just emailed the supplier Dope. back. And so, I mean, hopefully people are down with having a better quality one, not like a cheap one for super cheap price. Yeah. But – we can ship it, you know, if it's over a pound on like a flat rate. You'll just have to buy other things, <laughs> like hats. Uh, David said, "Do you have to become an LLC to purchase from resellers and wholesalers?" For us, yes. So we we became an LLC, or not an LLC. We're an S corp. So we incorporated as a business, and then we got a resale certificate, um, which helps with the uh, so that you don't have to pay sales tax. Uh, so yeah, we have those. You definitely want those two things before you start reaching out to. Uh, you can do like bulk deals locally and not have that, and go to auctions and stuff. But if, once you start dealing with like legitimate distributors and legitimate wholesale companies, um, you're gonna want to have those things in place. Right. Uh, sorry, I don't. Yeah, we'll we'll go back to the post office tomorrow and see if your box is there, and we'll just we won't open it till the next live show. Yes, come on up. Come on up. Who's that? Come on up. Who's that there photo? Is. Four minutes left, guys. There's the bulldog. It's been a good show, I think. We answered a lot of questions. Yeah, you know. By popular demand. The, the benefit of an S Corp, it's purely for tax reasons. Go talk to your CPA and they'll explain <coughs> what the difference is. There we Almost are. Died. Don't die. 726 people watching. Guys, please hit the <laughs> thumbs up button for us before you leave. Uh, we're going to keep streaming for another five minutes or so. Whatever questions you have, ask them. And maybe, like we always do, let us know some cool flips that you've had recently. That'll be There's cool. There's the bulldog. Muchy, look up. Muchy, look up here. How are we making out with the Western jeans? They are 90% sold. Yeah, I think that we have more to list, right? <coughs> like maybe a couple more. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing great. Uh, uh, Chick Rocker 77, thank you for the five dollars again. Another one, one last one. Best place to buy lots, bulk things, and should which should you when you just start out? Uh, no, you should not when you're just starting out. I would say once you've built up at least like two grand in capital to, to start playing around with, uh, then I would say start out with auctions. Go to auctionzip.com, type your zip code in, and start looking around your local area for liquidation lots, stuff like that. Someone says there's food in the box. Open ASAP. We opened all the boxes that week. Oh, we'll go. We'll go tomorrow. It's got to be at the post office tomorrow. Yeah, when did we you didn't send see it. it? Yeah, when oh. did you send it? Do you have a tracking you can look up to make sure that it's delivered? delivered? Yeah. Because I, I got everything out of the car. I mean, it says bakery and food. I'm on it. Yeah. I'll go there first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Straight to the warehouse. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Alexandra got an iPod Nano for three dollars and flipped it for one sixty. That Dope. is awesome. Love that. Uh, what size warehouse are we building? Still in deliberation. There, we're gonna build as big as we can, but it keeps getting smaller and smaller because the counter, the county keeps telling us to do this and this. So, we'll let you know. Yay, Hillsborough it'll, County. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, it'll be around the same size as what we're in currently, probably. Kenny, thank you again for the dollar. I don't know if you were trying to ask a question again, but if you are, just put it in the chat and we'll answer. Um, is insurance necessary for bigger sellers? Absolutely. Yeah, we carry we carry quite a bit of liability insurance. There's so many good questions. Sold uh, a Polo Ralph Lauren sweater for seventy-two dollars. Paid a dollar. Very good. That's amazing. Uh, Bought a Lego set for five and sold it for ninety-five within eight hours of purchase. Beautiful. Whoa. Legos are awesome. Dang. Fun fun fact about Legos, they appreciate faster than gold. gold. Did what? you know that? Yeah. So gold. if you buy if you buy statistically through the past, if you had bought a box of new Legos mm -hmm. and held on to it, it appreciates in value faster if you bought gold back then. What about right now? 
I don't know. Give it a shot. I'm going to Walmart. And then Malaya <laughs> asked, what brand of clothes do you think sells best? That's like one of the hardest questions to answer because best, do you mean the fastest for the most money or mm. can we get the cheapest and sell it for the heart, highest ROI? Like that's literally the most open best, question. Best but... is like college flipper paying a dollar for a Levi's jacket and selling it for $5,700. Yeah, Great. but <laughs> that was an insane situation, right? Yeah. I mean, we love like the North Face and Patagonia and Lululemon because that just goes, it flies athletic. Yeah. It was really fast, really, really well. So, um, <laughs> you know. What? Hey. What are you barking at? No, I we don't bark in, in this house. <laughs> She's barking because it's nine o'clock. She's like, yeah. She off. knows it's nine. Come play with I me. made cat toy noises. Oh. Guys, Ben, my brother Ben says he needs X Files pop figures. If you want to send him any gifts, he needs X Files Funko Pops. Oh my gosh, that's so uh, funny. Matthew says minimum size warehouse for a thousand items. I mean, I know people who are running a business out of their two car garage that has 5,000 items. So it depends on the size of your items. Yeah. You've got cars. Yeah. I mean, our warehouse has, man, I don't know. <laughs> our warehouse has thousands of items in it and it's like 1400 square feet. So. All right. And we're not even using our space well. No. Like at all. <laughs> all right. I think that's it guys. That's yes. all we've got for you tonight. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Thank you for hanging out with us as always. Hopefully you guys appreciate these videos, us taking an hour out of our busy, busy days and hanging out with you guys. But we appreciate you hanging out with us and we'll see you on the next one. Any yes, final words, ladies? Here. I love you and have a great night. It means a lot to us for all your support. You're a support. Don't Goodbye. <laughs>